Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. This video is a tutorial on how to use Buffer for beginners. In this video, we will talk about this platform called Buffer, what are its features and membership plans. We will show you the sign up and account setup processes and we will do a walkthrough of the interface. We will also show you how to connect your social media profile and how to post on it using Buffer. Make sure you're watching this video till the end. Let's begin with a short introduction to what Buffer is. Buffer is a social media management tool. It is also a media planner for both businesses as well as for personal use. This platform is intuitive and affordable. There are many social media management tools available, but compared to everyone, Buffer seems to be the most affordable one. So on this platform, you can schedule your social media posts, you can create posts, you can plan your content, you can also engage with your audience and you can easily publish content using Buffer. So what you can basically do with Buffer is you can take your social media scheduling and management to the next level. As you can see, we are on the home page of Buffer and it helps you grow your audience on social and beyond. There are many big companies that depend on Buffer like Huckberry, Food52, The Sill, Burrow, Happy Socks and Dress Up. If you scroll down, you can see that joining and using Buffer is so simple just in four steps. The first one is to first of all share click worthy content. The next is build an engaged audience. The third is Buffer will help you save tons of time by publishing everything for you on the time that you have decided. And the last one is coordinate with ease with Buffer's permission levels and approval flows. Your team can work freely without micromanagement. Now, let's go back to the top and let's see what all tools are available on this platform. If you hover your cursor on tools over here, you can see that Buffer offers publishing in which you can plan, collaborate and publish content. Then analytics to analyze how your social media profiles are performing. Then engagement so that you can quickly navigate through your comments and engage with your audience. And lastly, start page where you can build a customized landing page in just few minutes. If you hover your cursor on channels, these are the different social media platforms that Buffer supports, which are Facebook, Google Business Profile, Instagram, LinkedIn, Mastodon, Pinterest, Shopify, TikTok and Twitter. Now let's look at the pricing and membership plans on Buffer. For that, click on pricing at the top navigation bar and here you can see there are four plans and if you toggle over here between the monthly and yearly view, you can see that on the yearly plans, you've got discount than the monthly plans. Basically, there are four plans here on Buffer. The first one is the free plan, which is for individuals and businesses that are just getting started with social media. Then there is the essentials plan, which comes at $5 per month per channel. Then comes the team plan at $10 per month per channel. And finally, the agency plan, which is at $100 per month for 10 channels. For this demonstration, we're going ahead with the free plan. So let's sign up using this get started button. This is the sign up page and all you need to do is give in your email address and then put in a password. Tick this box and then click the sign up button. You will be taken to this page, which is a welcome page. And over here, you can see that there are four options of which two are not highlighted because they are only for the paid membership plans. Now, you, if you want, you can go ahead with any option or else just hit the skip selection button, which is what we're going to do. Then you have this page where it will ask you to connect your profiles. You've got all the profiles over here, as you can see. Let's go ahead and click on connect later, explore first. This is the dashboard of Buffer. Let's first go ahead and verify our email. So this is the email that you will get from Buffer. All you need to do is click the confirm email button and you will be taken to this page, which is your account page. 
So this is your dashboard. Let's do a quick walkthrough of it. Let's just move this away for now. So you can see that there is nothing over here because we haven't created a post. If you want to create a post, you can simply click on this plus icon on the particular date and time. You can see that's how it is on the calendar here. Or you can click on the create post button at the top right side. So here is your profile at the top right corner and you can access all these pages through it. On the left side bar, you can see there are different tabs like content where you will see all your content. Then we are on calendar where you will see all the scheduled posts and you can also create posts from here. Then there is the campaigns tab to see all your campaigns performances, but that is accessible only to paid membership plans. And finally, queues to see all the posts that are in queue. Now let's go ahead and connect a channel. To do that, you can simply click this add channel button over here at the bottom of the left side bar. We're going ahead and connecting our Twitter channel. So just click on connect against any of these social media platforms or store and a pop-up window will open like this. And all you need to do is sign in, put in your username, then put in your password and click the login button. And once you have connected your profile, you can see the channel has been added over here in the channels tab. Now, if you want to create a post, you can simply go back to publishing and go to the profile that you've added. And over here, you can see that you can schedule posts or tweets for Twitter. Now, let's go ahead and create a post. You can add a media over here, like an image or a video. Then you can design with Canva, select from Dropbox, select from Google Drive or from OneDrive. You can also search on Jiffy. You can also add an emoji or do as much you can. There's also the character limit. As you all know, you will see a preview of the tweet over here. Once everything is fine, you can either save it as a draft or add to queue, which is basically your publish button. And if you click on it, you have all these options. If you click on share now, you can see that it is going ahead and sharing the post. And there is a message that says the post has been shared. So that is basically how you create a post. Now, if you want to add or remove a channel, all you need to do is click on your profile icon at the top right side, select channels. And over here, you can see that this is the channel that we have connected. And if you click on these three dots, you will see that you have the option to remove the channel. Let's go ahead and remove the channel and you will get a pop-up window like this where you simply need to click on confirm and remove to remove the channel. And now you can see that the channel has been removed. With this, we have completed our tutorial on how to use buffer for beginners. This brings this video to an end. We truly hope it has benefited you. If you have any suggestions or want us to make a video on any specific topic, do let us know in the comments section below. We will catch you soon in our next video. Till then, stay tuned and stay subscribed.